Guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and this here is the new E-Series 22-inch tabletop electric griddle by Blackstone. Guys, this does have the integrated griddle cart. We are gonna unbox this thing. We are gonna assemble this thing. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna take a first look. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So look, real quick, when I do these assembly videos, I like to take it step by step. I don't like to pit it with no fancy edits, no heavy type music, just step by step assembly. I like to do it just the same as you would be doing it. Anytime I get a new griddle, pit, grill, I love taking a little look around the box. Of course, we got that digital display, a non-stick surface. Two-zone cooking, that is key for this little uh, griddle, I do believe. I love the uh, glass top. I love it on the 17. It kind of steams everything in. Now it does say we have a uh, integrated cutting board. I have yet to find it. If anybody knows where it is, leave me a comment down below. And of course, we got that folding side table. A little bit more about that in a bit. So once opening up the box right on top, you'll have your instruction booklet. That is your uh, usual fare there. Everything seems pretty nicely laid out for sure. And you'll only need a, a little wrench there and a Phillips head screwdriver. Right on top, we got the uh, we got the box that's going to be housing the uh, casters. Your uh, screw set will be in there, and as you see, there ain't that many. That is a, a good sign for sure. <laughs> We'll get that box out, just get it put on the side as we continue to unbox. Oh, yeah. First up on the uh, on top of the unit itself is your shelving. You want to get that out. Now I did find the uh, package, packaging to be very good. Everything seemed to be uh, packaged nicely, protected nicely as we remove the uh, side shelf. And there you go, just grab it and take it out. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. Clip to the side, tape to the side. You'll have your four legs. You want to remove them. Get that styrofoam off. As uh, Molly takes a uh, gander on what is happening. She's a uh, big, big man. She's no help. There you go. Some pretty good protection right there. I like to leave the box whole and I put all the uh, scraps in the box right for easy cleanup. Now you will have to cut away that plastic. And as in the uh, 17 inch griddle, the 17 inch E series griddle, it is a three part setup. You got your hood, yeah, your glass hood, you got your griddle, it all comes apart. That is three parts, that is easy cleaning. That is a nice move by uh, Blackstone right there. So look, as in the uh, 17, you have those two little notches right there. And from there, your uh, glass top has two kind of clips on it. And you'll see on the back of the unit where those clips just kind of slide in. That is one, two, three, easy cleanup. 
on this little griddle, just the same as the uh, 17. So uh, again, that is a, a nice move by Blackstone. Let's take this in for some thoughts. All right, guys, just wanted to bring you back. Uh, one thing I know already, this is gonna be a pretty much of a breeze to, uh, to put together. I mean, the unit itself is, is all together uh, and comes apart in three sections, as you saw, for easy cleaning, right? You got the hood. The griddle, it all comes apart. That's three sections right here. And uh, basically, we just have the uh, cart to put together. I see four legs. I see the uh, bottom pieces. That looks like it's going to pretty much snap together, then screw in. And we only got one set of hardware. So this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be pretty much a snap. So look, I have the 17-inch uh, griddle here. And now I got the 22-inch uh, griddle here. So uh, the one thing that I'm pretty excited about is I'll be able to compare the two. So if you're, if you're trying to decide which one is better for you, which one is better for your family, uh, hopefully I can make that decision a little bit easier for you. So guys, so look, if you want to see anything specific, leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'll get that out to you. Again, we got the 17-inch uh, electric griddle. We got the 22-inch uh, electric griddle. I'll take some measurements as far as how they heat up, how evenly they heat up. That's all coming in some upcoming shows. And, uh, and of course, we will bang out some cooks on this 22-inch. Uh, and when I'm done with this 17-inch, uh, this goes to my uh, daughter, because I could tell right now I'll be keeping the 22. Guys, right off the bat, the 22-inch uh, is going to give you 6 inches of more cooking space, while the uh, width is going to stay the same at 14. So we have, so we have 17 on the 17-inch uh, and 23 on the 22-inch. Uh, and both being 14 so you definitely get that little extra cooking space but the one thing i'm excited about is you got two zones on the uh two zones on the 22 inch i found cooking on the uh 17 inch i found a uh, a cool spot but it didn't really do the trick for me i'd rather have a uh, cold cool zone and have a, uh, a hot zone so you can kind of move things around you don't want to put the uh buns for say on 450, 500 degree temperatures on the 17. So you can have a cool zone where you can warm things up on the 22. So I'm real excited about that. Also the uh, cart, I'm real interested to see how, uh, how good the uh, cart plays into it. It's not that heavy. So I could see moving it in and out of the house, no problem there. And again, easy cleanup on both of these uh, little griddles. So that's a, a definite plus. So I've broken up this assembly into five different steps. Step one is gonna be your casters and legs. Right off the bat, what you wanna do is make sure you to lock all four of the casters. So basically what they do, they're all the same. So just kind of screw them in and make sure they're tight. So look, next up, you want to uh, use the four self-tapping screws to attach the two power cord brackets to the back of the right leg. There you go, it's no big deal. Now look, if you don't have a, a soft screwdriver like this, electric, use a hand screwdriver. Don't use anything too powerful as you will just strip the screws. That is a, a pro tip. Next up, step two, you want to add the nuts to each table leg. Also important to note here, you want to make sure that everything is lined up perfect. So bend down, look through the hole, make sure it is perfect because that's going to help you in a later step. If it is not perfect, you're just going to uh, strip out the uh, strip out the screws. This they're going to go in on an angle. So I used a little bit of a uh, scissor here. Look down, make sure the holes lined up perfect, and you'll be all set. Oh, yeah. That is a pro tip. So look, that is the rear of the unit, and that one with the little slanted down edge is the front of the unit. 
the side with the three nuts on the uh, front and back are both the right side. That is the right side of the unit. That is important to note. Your cord holder bracket will go on the right rear. Next up, you want to go to your front right, your front right, and you'll look for the uh, three holes. And then three holes again. The front left, the same thing. Three holes, then three holes again. Those holes will uh, hold your condiment holder. That'll come later in the assembly. Your last rear left will have those two smaller holes, as does the uh, rear right, so that lines up. So basically with the four legs, two are the same and two are the same. And that's why you wanna make sure your holes all lined up perfect and they'll screw in perfect. Again, if it's not perfect, the screws will go in on an angle and you'll just strip them. There you go, that's no big deal. And of course, Pitmaster uh, Molly is uh, no help at all. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. she eats. Guys, we move to step three. That is attach the bottom shelf to the legs. You will need two people to line everything up, and that'll be two screws per leg. Oh, yeah. That's easy peasy. That is easy. Important to note here, you want to go in straight. If you go in on an upper angle, you will just strip the screws. Go in straight, and they'll go right in. Guys, step four, we will attach the uh, side shelf to the right side of the legs, and you'll use two of those step bolts. And we'll have some thoughts on this uh, shelf and the uh, closing thoughts coming right up. There you go, that's no big deal. So look from there, you want to attach your front brace is what they call it, but it is a, also a condiment holder. So you'll attach that with the uh, four screws. So look, that's basically the assembly as we flip the cart over. Look, the only uh, little fugazi part there was uh, Blackstone could have did a better job. I do believe they could have numbered the uh, legs for say. So uh, you don't have to sit there and try to figure it out for 15 minutes as I did. And look, that griddle top just kind of slides, fits right in there. That is a nice fit. So look, stay tuned for some uh, closing thoughts and of course some important assembly tips that'll save you time. Oh yeah. Look, so that is it for this one. This assembly uh, should have been a lot easier than it was. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Blackstone could do a better job maybe n putting a number on the leg or something so we don't have to sit there and figure out which is the back, which is the right, which is the rear, because the last thing you want to do is get the legs on and then figure out, well, that's not right, and you got to take it apart. So that's number one. Number two, when you drop the uh, nuts in the uh, little groove on the legs, make sure it's lined up, man. Go on the side, look, make sure it is perfectly lined up, because when you go to screw it all together, if those screws start going in on an angle, you're just gonna strip them. They are regular, you know, uh, the usual fare for, for, for pits, especially of this price. Uh, they're gonna strip out easy. So uh, make sure everything is lined up. I'm still a little undecided here on this uh, shelf. You gotta pull it out, bring it up, slide it in, and then drop it, okay? I'm not gonna press down on it. I'm not sure what this is gonna hold. 
But then again, man, you don't have to put heavy sauces on here. You could just put your, uh, you know, whatever, a plate maybe. Uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to test that up, pull it out and then bring it down. Also over here, we do have a, a front uh, center to hold some condiments and stuff. So I am definitely digging that. Um, you know, I like that it's a three part unit where you can just kind of take it apart to uh, wash it. That is a, uh, you know, that's a good deal by uh, Blackstone there for sure. Um, so that's really it, man. It should have been a one, two, three put together, but hey, man, it uh, turned out to be a one, two, three, four, five, six put together. Um, other than that, we got four locking casters. That is a, uh, a nice move there by Blackstone. I'm figuring maybe because people are gonna use it inside, so they wanna make sure that it is completely locked into place and that one side's not gonna move. Um, and that's it, man. So look, you're gonna see a lot of 22 inch Blackstones. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will compare this in depth to the 17 inch E series. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll take some temps, see how it's heating up and so forth. So guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. I'm gonna roll my Patreons and YouTube join members. I got information on that down below. So until next time, we will see you soon.